I'm Tulsa World Meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Thanks for joining me. Let's take a look uh, at what we can expect for the potential for severe storms this afternoon. We are still under that slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center for seeing some of these storms that will start to spark up around that lunch hour and into the early afternoon hours becoming stronger to severe. The bullseye for severe weather still lays to the southeast of us, so that far southeastern corner of Oklahoma and the portions of northeastern Texas and Arkansas still have the best chance for seeing severe storms, but then also the best chance for potentially seeing some tornadoes. Now in Tulsa, our risk for seeing tornadoes isn't zero, but it's also pretty slight. It's about 2% chance for, or so. Um, and really what we'll be looking at is the possibility for seeing maybe a few spin-up tornadoes that could occur along the leading edge of the cold front as it moves through. I think our biggest risk is still going to remain the uh, potential for some damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour or greater, and then also the possibility for some larger hail development. You could be seeing quarter-sized or greater hail uh, that occurs with some of these storms. Now we're currently not under any watches and warnings. I expect that to probably change over the next hour or two. As far as your future cast goes, though, through our lunch hour, things still remain pretty quiet, though you may start to see a few showers pop up by 1 o'clock. Most of that activity, though, still remains towards our west by 2 to 2.30. You're looking at a couple of these storms then starting to fire up just south of that I-44 corridor. And keep in mind, these storms could be producing some hail and gusty wind. So you can't rule out the possibility for seeing some severe weather as early as about 2 o'clock. By 4 o'clock, we're going to be looking for these storms then to start approaching the Tulsa metro and south. Um, and I'd say about 3 to 4 o'clock is really going to be our best time frame for seeing severe storms if they develop here in Tulsa. Again, gusty winds, hail development right around that time. So if you're headed out to go pick up the kids at about that time, unfortunately, the roads are probably going to be a little treacherous. So just make sure that you're aware of what's going on. Very heavy rainfall possible, of course, with these storms as they uh, move through also. Now, by about 5, 5.30, 6, here again is that line. This is the cold front. It's going to start to set up, and you're going to notice these showers and storms really start to come together right along a line there. And as I was mentioning, it's just east of us that really starts to form uh, that line. And along the leading edge, you could be seeing some of those um, very gusty winds, but then also the possibility for a few spin-up tornadoes a little bit farther towards the south and then east of Tulsa. Uh, and that's later on. So I'd say by 5, 6 p.m. or so, most of our storms will be moving out of the Tulsa metro, but then we'll still be left with a few showers that'll kind of wrap around the system and hang with us into the early morning hours then uh, even of Saturday. But any storm potential at that point is going to be moving out. That's going to be about five, six o'clock. And then we'll be left with cooler temps. So look at the temperatures behind this front. They drop. It was a very warm morning. It almost felt like a spring morning out there in the 70s. And by 5 o'clock for sure, we're going to be noticing a huge difference with temperatures dropping down into the 50s, even 40s out towards Ponca City. What a change for you. And then we'll see our share of 40s as we head into the overnight hours. And then for tomorrow, it will be cooler, of course. We'll start our day off in the 40s and 30s in some spots, and then we'll only be warming up to about 65. So here's that seven day planner. You've got that chance for showers and storms today. Then you have cooler weather. It's somewhat short lived, unfortunately. You're back in the 70s for Sunday, Monday, even 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday. But as you look past all of that, going into Friday, Saturday of next weekend, we're looking for a big cool down again. We'll be back in the 40s and 50s for the high.